Okay, uh, I'm actually finishing the finishing touches for this presentation. If you are watching this, please watch to the end because you can't buy a land of 5 million and not get proper information for at least 30 minutes. Know what you're buying. Watch till the end. Welcome to this presentation of land banking opportunity that is very limited to very limited people. Because you're here, you're very special because you're about to take advantage of something that hardly happens in the real estate chain and something that when it happens, all the developers keep all the gains to themselves. But because you know I'm my East China, the mayor of housing, and of course you know that I don't sell houses or sell land, I sell value. I want to share that value with just limited, selected few of you that will take advantage of only 100 plots out of the 1,500 plots we have. So behold the best yet to come out of Port Harcourt, which is the Alessa Highlands. Behold living higher. So Alessa Highland is a new district we are building in Port Harcourt that's going to change the narrative. Some people are already calling it the new Banana Island, but I know it's far better than Banana Island. But before we get there, let's tell you the greatest quote to ever come out of real estate, and that is this, by William Penn Ada. He said, find out where the people are going and buy the land before they get there. This is the simplest and greatest quote in real estate, but a lot of people miss it in two areas. Number one, people buy lands in upcoming areas without finding out where people are going. Like if you're in Port Harcourt and you've been buying land in Omagua and all those airport areas, ask yourself how many people have gone there. Even when the stadium was built there, ask yourself how many people have gone there. But you notice that the migration seems to be moving towards the Peter Odeli Okuru area and the Gulf Estate area, the um, Woji area. So studying where people are going is more important in this quote and just buying the land. And then the timing. I see in Port Harcourt a lot of people buying ripe. You are expected to buy the land before the people get there, not after they've gotten there. Because before they get there, land you bought for, for instance, Peter Dele five years ago used to sell for five million naira a plot. Now, five years later, it is selling for 40 to 50 million naira a plot because all the people have moved there. So the, the key is buying before they get there. And the second key is knowing where they're going. And that's why the mayor of housing is here. And what is land banking? A lot of you have heard about land banking. Land banking is where you buy a land and you sell it when it appreciates. It's expected to grow beyond and above your fixed deposit. So if you have fixed deposit of 9%, any area of land that does not appreciate above 9% is not a good deal. So we have the long-term land banking and the short-term land banking. So instead of putting your money in the bank, you put it in the land. And why is land banking infallible? If you were listening to this um, video, you heard when I said it's infallible. It's infallible for this five reasons. Number one, it has zero risk. Land is a tangible asset. There are very few fixed assets that are don't inflation cannot affect land, gold, commodities, commodities, real commodities like food commodities. They are tangible things that even though stock might go up, crypto might go up and down, but these things have a fixed price and they will only go up in value. That's why land is infallible and it has zero risk because you are not giving your money to an investor to invest, you are buying the land. And I've never heard anywhere that somebody stole a land. So the only mistake you can do is buy a contestable land. They call them encumbrances. So once you are sure that the land is an already estate, a registered estate, it's zero risk. Then the documentation, what documentation comes with that land? And why land banking is very good is that you get a deed of conveyance or power of attorney that gives you full ownership of the land you are banking on. And also it's transferable and it can be used like a collateral. Transferable means you can resell that land to another person. You can sell, um, will it to your children. You can transfer it to anybody. And you can buy a land of 100 million naira, use the papers of that land of 100 million naira, and go and collect a loan of 60 million naira. So it's eating your cake and having 60% of it. 
So that's why it's also good because you can use it for a collateral and it's liquidatable. Liquidatable means whenever you want to sell your land, if you're good in selling, you sell your land. If you're not good in selling, look for any real estate agent that will help you sell your land and you get your money. And that's why land banking is infallible. But not all land banking are the same. And when we are talking here, we are talking out of experience from Port Harcourt because this opportunity is an, a district coming up in Port Harcourt. A lot of people bought land in upcoming areas outside Port Harcourt, like the downtown airport area, with hope that migration will go there, but they themselves are not going there. So the appreciation of that land is slow. So even though land banking is infallible, it can be static. So and you don't want your money to be static because of inflation. Why? If inflation beats your land, if your land is not appreciating above the inflation rate, you are losing money on that land. So most times I tell people two things are the determining factors of the value of your bank. And that is just like in banks, they give you interest. The rate of your interest in land banking is de it's determined by the amount of development going to that area and the migration trend of the city. So when you want to buy a land in Port Harcourt, don't just rush and buy land in Port Harcourt. Like the mayor of housing, I've been in Port Harcourt for a year now, developing estates and studying the trend. And there are two places I have seen that has potential. The Peter Delhi area and the opposite salvation, the Salvation Ministry Cathedral area of Ugrita, just that place. Because once that cathedral is ready, what happens in Ota and in Kena land will happen. People will start rushing there. But right now, nobody is seeing those things. So, and there's long-term land banking where you buy a land and you want to retain it for years. And there's short-term land banking. And what we are giving you here, here is short-term. But let's see what is the continuum or the different levels of the value chain of real estate. Real estate, of course, starts at the community level. The first level you can see there is the community and customary acquisition, where you acquire land from the ancestral owners of the land, the community. That's the first point of entry. Then after you do that, you will survey the land you have bought that you want to use for an estate. That is the estate comprehensive survey. That's the second line. And you go approve that uh, survey from the governor go, or government and then after that you produce the master plan of that estate the first one is the registration of the land which is the survey the second one you develop a master plan an estate intricate mapping and infrastructural plan and you send it for uh, vetting and the final the next stage is you approve that site plan and layout approval for your estate from the S uh, government and once you do that you begin to sell the land. The next state is estate land sales. So by the time you've bought land from the community, they are community lands, but by the time you've gotten your estate approval, you've added value with the mapping and infrastructure, they are now estate lands. The next level is estate development, where you begin to build the gates, the fences, and begin to build the roads and infrastructure. And the, the estate begins to come up. And the next stage is the building of the estate buildings proper which is the estate building completion. While the final stage is when you finish building your estate and you start reselling. A lot of people only get the opportunity to buy into estate when they've heard that somebody bought a house in Gulf Estate, bought a house in this, and they are rushing and they miss all this value chain. And guess what? This is green to ripe. Imagine a fruit. When you buy an unripe green mango, the owner might dash it to you because it's not ripe. What will you do with it? An unripe green mango. But when that same mango is ripe, you'll sell it for 500 naira per mango. So real estate is so cheap and affordable when it is green that so many neglect it and say, ah, why should I buy a bush? But it is so expensive when it is ripe that so few can afford it. So what we are selling to, giving to you now is an opportunity for you to buy green and sell ripe. So always remember this, buy green and sell right. So once you do that, you'll be able to be good in land banking. And this is the first time I'm actually giving people opportunity to buy land. I don't sell houses or land. I sell value. And those that understand me, these are the two things that I'm crazy about. 
giving you value that you cannot find in the market and becoming the most collaborative businessman in Africa. And that is the mayor of housing. So, but this is a very rare window because um, it is not our normal sales. Very rare value window. And if you don't take advantage, you might regret it. As Jim Rohn said, that we must all suffer one of the two pains. Is either you suffer the pain of the discipline of taking advantage of this opportunity, or you suffer the pain of the regret of missing this. And guess what? The pain of discipline weighs ounces, while the pain of regret weighs tons. So ask yourself, choose your pain. Will you discipline yourself to take advantage, or will you regret and tell maybe your friends, that, man, I heard that thing, but... I, I thought it wasn't your time and I missed it. So where exactly is this Alessa Highlands? We've been talking about Alessa and some of you have called me and said, where is this place? So let's take you to Alessa Highland. Sit here as we go on this tour. Come with me. This is Sassoon Roundabout and we're right here. We're at the Sassoon Roundabout. I'm taking you to the Alessa Highlands. If you are in Port Harcourt, come with me, let's go. Okay, this is the popular Sassoon roundabout. Very beautiful. And um, for those that don't know this place, if you are coming in from um, Transamadi, the popular garrison junction, you get to Ordinance Roundabout. From Ordinance Roundabout, if you're coming from garrison, you take your left, it will bring you to this same roundabout. And then from Amadiyama, for those that are calling, coming from LNG, LNG is right in front of us here. You also get to this roundabout. This is almost like the crescent of um, the Peter Delay Road. Peter Delay Road is a very popular road here in Port Harcourt for those that know Port Harcourt. So we decided to anchor this site visit on Sassoon Roundabout because from here we are going straight. And I'm, I'm so glad there is a traffic here so that you can enjoy this view with me as we go. I hope you can still see me. That's the Black Prado and we are driving straight to Alessa Highland. So from Sassoon Roundabout, you face Peter Dilly Road. So right in front of us right now is Peter Dilly Road. Behind us is Amadi Roundabout that takes you to Abuloma, LNG, and OGRA. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the popular Peter Dilly Road, Port Harcourt. It might also interest you that the Office of the Mayor of Housing is also located on this same road. And um, so once you go to the site, come to our office is just a one-way traffic and um, you are done so you keep going on Peter Dilly Road right by my left you can see the popular market square supermarket that's what you're seeing by my left so you keep moving ahead for those that are not conversant with Port Harcourt we are moving right on Peter Dilly in front of us by the right is popular the dome hall uh, I've, um, the Dome Hall has got this beautiful restaurant that uh, I love to go to eat in. It's called um, the Red Coral Restaurant. That's my restaurant. Red Coral, you guys will pay me for this advertisement, okay? Maybe like 30 plates of free food. And then by the left, we have Domino's, Pizza and uh, Cold Stone. And that is the Diamond Plaza. That's the office of the Mayor of Housing. We're going to come back to that on a better day. And this is the beautiful Peter Dilly. And you can see the stretch of the, of the road. We're driving down, down to the next roundabout. Now this roundabout you're seeing, take note, is the JDP roundabout. That's a roundabout that takes you to Gulf Estate and uh, comes from the slaughter to my left is um, slaughter market those days and woji if you're coming from woji to my right is uh, abuloma okuru and golf estate so to make it interesting i'm just gonna go around this roundabout 
So we've done the roundabout. I've shown you the road that leads to Slaughter and the road to that leads to Abuloma. And then we came all the way from Sassoon roundabout, which is the uh, Peter the Lee Road, the popular, very popular Peter the Lee Road for those that understand Port Harcourt. And when we get to JDP, we are going ahead. So from Sassoon, we straight all the way to the seventh wonder in Port Harcourt that I want to show you. So by my right, you're going to see um, developments that are already coming up that are directly opposite um, Gulf Estate. This is a beautiful estate also coming up here in front of Gulf Estate. And it will soon be commissioned. And uh, we're driving. This is the road that links Peter Odili to Apajo through Woji. This junction you are seeing is the Gulf Estate Junction. And all these beautiful uh, structures you are seeing by the right just before the river or the sea is the popular Gulf Estate Port Harcourt. For those that have never been to Port Harcourt, this is Gulf Estate. And I'm giving you a sneak peek into one of the most popular estates in Port Harcourt, the Gulf Estate. You can see it's a beautiful waterfront property. And um, most of the people that stay in Port Harcourt understand the value of this place. So just in front of us is the flyover and we are climbing that right now. And this flyover is the Woji Econ Road flyover. See you across the flyover. Okay, so this is the beautiful Woji flyover. We've just crossed the flyover. And then we're heading, this part on my right is behind the Gulf Estate. It's, already, uh, it's where the Reef Extension Estate is coming up. That um, is also being curated by the Mayor of Housing. Watch out for the groundbreaking of the Reef Extension Estate. It's going to happen the same day with the Smart City Estate uh, GRA Phase 8. So this is the junction that leads to the reef extension. For those that know, this is the popular Chelsea filling station. The road by my right leads to the reef extension estate, which is behind the Peter uh, Golf Estate, which is another development by the Mayor of Housing. And then right in front of us is where I'm taking you to, which is the wonder that is creating the value that you're about to harvest. So this is the Woji Apajo Peter Dele expressway that connects Peter the lead through Woji to Apajo for those that understand Port Harcourt. And by my right is a pockets of beautiful estates that are built behind the Gulf Estate. Then we are just 200 meters away from what I call the value wonder of Port Harcourt. And that is the Woji Alessa on a highway that is being constructed by the government. This is where the wonder begins. And I'll explain, but let me pack first and come down and show you this wonder that is creating the value that you're about to exponentially harvest. Let's come down. This is the wonder of Port Harcourt. You can see this road connects Woji from this place. This is Woji. This road connects Woji and Peter Dilly Road right through Alessa to One. For those that understand Port Harcourt, this road is going across the river and connecting this Hitato hidden heaven of land all through to One. You can see the bridge is almost 30% um, completed and um, it's just crossing the river. In fact, some of the pillars are, are for, on the river has been laid. And this is called the Woji Alessa One Road. You can see the road has been cleared on the other side of the land. So where you are seen with the red circle is the Alessa Highlands. You can see the beautiful scenery. Why this bridge is the Apajo Bridge that connects to Apajo. With this new road, most pedestrians will not need to go through this particular road you are seeing now because the new road will shunt directly to Ona. You don't have to go through Apajo, Petrochemicals and East West Road. You just go through this new road that cuts 
off that long route and you go straight to Onei. You can see down, down what you are seeing in those areas beyond the triangle you are seeing at the refinery LMA area and beyond it is the Onei area. So that's the new uh, wonder. You can see it's a dry land, it's a high land. It's uh, far above flood level. It does not require sand filling. There are no swamps in it. And this is the Alessa Highlands, okay? And this is where we want to craft. You can see it already has a semblance with banana because it's always look, almost looking like an island. It's only the northern uh, or western part that is not covered. You can see all around is water. So we are building a highbrow banana island, better than banana island kind of structure in that place. And um, it's called the Alessa Highlands Estate live higher for those that want to live higher behind us is the golf estate you can see golf estate here golf estate you then this is woji this is the woji part of town and this is the woji river and um we're back you can see oh dear port harcourt looks so beautiful from this place i love the fact that i'm taking you on this tour because it's looking quite beautiful so we're just gonna speed it up that's the place you're seeing and by we already, uh, we've already surveyed the area in red and uh, we're about to get the estate layout and gazetting submitted for approval. So we're only selling 100 plus to be able to raise money for the 3D and the bush entry and some of the things we're doing before we start selling the estate lands. So you're not buying the estate lands, you're buying the pre-estate land and that's why it's so cheap at 5 million naira. By the time we're done, it to be far far above five million now you can see the beautiful estate so this is the place and you can take advantage so i've taken you on that tour and you've come back to value this road has just created value remember i told you the two things that determines value is development and migration Already people have migrated, a lot of people work in Oné. Those that understand Port Harcourt don't need to bother. They know that as the mayor, I sell value. And even this guy videoing me knows that I sell value. And there's nothing else that makes me the mayor of housing other than delivering value to you. And this is a secret opportunity that Hitato will not be open to you because you are not a developer. It is the investors and those that are developing that enjoy this profit but because you are hooked to the mayor of housing enjoy it while it lasts and let's get back to our presentation i don't go <laughs> yeah so i you can see from that video that it's an upcoming area predicated on the value of that that land is going to create and for those that understand port Harcourt very well before i move on to other thing that new alessa woji one road it's going to cut off Abajo uh, Petrochemicals and East West Road because most people going to One and those going to Akwaibom, which are the major traffic on that road, will be taking this new road. And we are predicating our estate there because already the powers have be, that be have taken serious interest. They've bought a lot of land there. I won't mention names, but most of the authorities that are approving and building this road already have lands there because everybody listens to one fm when it comes to value and business and that's we fm we fm is w i i f m what's in it for me so the authorities already have something in it and they are rushing to beat the deadline so that their own lands can also get value so what are we curating in this area Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the future of Port Harcourt. We are building the most smart and the most modern city district in Port Harcourt, which some people that have heard our brief are already calling it the new Banana Island. But guess what? It's better than Banana Island. It is the Alessa Highland for only those that want to live higher. You want to live higher, the biggest mall in Port Harcourt will be in Alessa Highland. The tallest commercial building in Port Harcourt will be in Alessa Highland with a helipad on top of the building. And we'll have a helipad also in the estates. 
So because most of the people we are building for, we have golf courses in the estate, we have international schools and local schools for different classes of parents that those that prefer international schools, we have one there. Local schools, we have one there. We have a business district. Then we have the commercial area, the residential area that has one of the best infrastructure in terms of green. The greenery and the landscaping will be wow. In terms of golf courses, in terms of space, please, if you don't like space, you, Alessa Island is not for you because we discovered a need and a missing point in Port Harcourt. Most of the estates in Port Harcourt are clustered and sequestered because they are trying to make profit from every inch of land. We are, pre we are preparing a place where people will go and spread their wings and live in green clean areas and for those of you that know Port Harcourt also recently there have been this popular pollution challenge of the uh, black suit and other things are you aware that when your house is surrounded by trees it actually filters the air and are you aware that trees emit oxygen and taking carbon dioxide men emit carbon dioxide and taking oxygen so when you're side by side with a tree they produce all the oxygen you need and you give them all the carbon dioxide they need so that's what we are curating but that plan is not yet ready and that's why you have this rare opportunity so we're at the point where we've acquired the land from the community remember the real estate continuum i told you we have acquired from the community we have done our survey we are now curating our layout and we need to map out lands for roads and infrastructure and that's where you come in because of the budget for that we want to use just 100 plots out of the 1,500 plot uh, perimeter we have to develop infrastructure, roads, and other things. So that land you're buying for 5 million, by the time the roads are done in the next 90 days, just the mapping, the land becomes 12 million naira because before now, the land has no road. Now it has road, it has drainage, and all that. So what are the expected value points after you buy for 5 million? The expected value point is that the launch and sales of our... Remember I told you this is not a public sales announcement in the advert. It's just for a few privileged individuals. We have about 1,400 plus of land we want to sell after we launch the estate in the next three to six months. And those lands will be sold for 15 million naira or more because we've crafted the road. Remember when you have like... 100 plots of land and you put the road in that land it reduces to like 80 plots so the automatically the value of that plots have shot up that's why you are able to get this hike in value in the next three months it's not as if that place is so developing that but they by turning it from a community land or customary land to an estate land with infrastructure the value automatically grows and that's where you are cashing it so by the time we finish that we're going to construct the next step is to construct the estate gate and once we do the estate gate we are building our first prototype beside the gate and that in automatically increases the land value from 15 million to 25 million upwards per plot and that will happen in the next six to 12 months and then after that we start the actual construction of the roads and prototype development of our houses once we start building houses the lands go from 25 to 35 million naira and go up to almost 35 million naira per plot in the next six to 18 months. Then by, we are dividing this district in phases. Phase one will be very small so that we can build what you are expecting. By the time we finish building phase one, that plot that was 35 million naira will move to about 40 million naira or more in the next 24 months, that's where we'll be. And when we finish the total development, the few plots that will be left will be like 50 million naira plot and i'm not just quoting this i've been a partner with one of the fastest rising estate development in port Harcourt, which is reef court estate when they started five years ago plot of land was three million today because the construction is almost complete a plot of land there is 52 million naira today so that's how much your five million naira will be worth in the next five years 52 million but that's not where you might be after it might just be after putting five million in the next three months to six months get your 12 million or 15 million so what are the potentials this place um we see a lot of people sequestering and building low-cost estate this place is going to be the top of the top high-end 
um, individuals of Port Harcourt that want to live higher. Those already living in their houses and want to leave their houses and come to a higher place. And it's already dubbed the new Banana Island, but as a lesser highlands, it's higher than Banana. The highlands is about living high. It's an area in Port Harcourt that is not waterlogged, there's no swamp, there's no sand filling, it's ready to build. The only thing keeping the area all this while was this bridge that is being built. And as that road is connecting, the lands will just explode and it's directly behind the already developed Peter the Lee Gulf Estate area. So um, let me just give um, the potentials. I have a friend, in fact, a company lawyer and legal advisor, bought a land in Banana Island in 2001 for 12 million naira. Now, if you understand Banana Island and Lekki, in 2001, Lekki was selling for about 4 million naira, 5 million naira. Banana Island was 12 million because they knew what they were curating. So a lot of people didn't buy, they said it was expensive. But that same land he bought for 12 million naira, he just sold it in 2018 for 400 million naira. That's the potential of what we are building. Now, Banana Island, you can't buy a full duplex in Banana Island if you don't have 900 to 1 point something billion naira. So that's the power. And people have seen what we are doing and they're already calling this new Banana Island. But guess what? I don't sell islands or lands. I sell value. This will be far bigger. So you have three options. Either you sell off as soon as we start selling our estate land and cash off your sh money short term, or you hold and sell later when the development has started coming up, maybe in the next one, two, three years, or you develop it yourself. That means you want to build your own house, you want to live higher. But please, if you don't like space and greens, don't develop because uh, that place is only for people that love greenery. And I bet you what you'll be seeing by the time we unveil the estate in just a 3D design, you'll be wowed. So before I end this, remember, when you buy, you're not giving us 5 million naira, you're buying a land. So when you see this presentation and you're interested, you, you send your name and address to the number written here on this screen or the number you can see right over there. And when you send it by WhatsApp, send your name and address and say, I'm interested in buying the plot of land. We'll send you an offer later with your name and address and also give you a subscription form. When you fill the subscription form for how many plots and how you want to pay, you will send you a pro forma invoice with our bank details. You go and pay and after you pay, we'll send you a receipt. And of course, your deed of conveyance and power of attorney for you to own that land. And then when we begin to resell during the estate stage, you contact us to tell us whether you want to resell or you want to hold. And we have another window of opportunity for those that want to pay uh, small, small, but that is when we launch. It is not happening in this 5 million stage. By the time we launch the estate land for 15 million, if you want to pay for up to three years, two years, there's a payment plan for you to pay small, small. So that is the deal you have. Remember, you get full documentation, and by the time we finish the estate, that your land you got with a deed of conveyance and power of attorney, you also be given a CFO when the estate CFO has been approved by the government. This is a big banger opportunity, and I wouldn't miss it if I were you. But before I end, may I ask you four simple questions. Why? Why would you want to own a land in the highest developing area and the best development come to Port Harcourt? Why would you want to turn your 12 million, 5 million naira to 12 million naira in the next three months? Why would you buy more than one plot and move all your money from the bank to a land bank? Why would you be that one? And my next question is, why not? Why not take advantage of this opportunity? Why not you that have been dreaming of real estate and saying, I'll save and buy real estate and hoping that my children don't end up in a rented apartment just like me. Why not see how far you can go with this? Why not take advantage of that same opportunity you missed the last time when you heard that Gulf Estate was selling for 17 million naira and right now you are hearing it is selling for 65 million naira and you are shouting, if I'd known, I would have bought. Here's another opportunity. Why not take advantage? But my third question is, why not you? Why not you that feel that you can give your children a better future than you had yourself? 
Why not you that feels that your landlord is not as smart as you and they can take advantage? Why not you that have been thinking, okay, this money I have can only buy a plot of land for 50 million naira. How do I turn it to a house? Why not buy 10 plots now and when it is ready, it becomes 120 million. You sell nine out of the 10 plots for 15, 15 million naira and use the money to build yourself the dream house you've always promised your wife. Why not you? That all your friends have left Nigeria and are working in Canada and USA, but you believe that something good can come out of Nigeria and here's the good thing staring you in the face. Why not you? That is seen this before others and can still take advantage while the hundred plots last. But my final question is, why not now? Why would you procrastinate and miss this opportunity? Why not now that the dollar is not reliable, a lot of forex is not reliable, crypto is going there and bull every day, and you are thinking of one stable place that can give you peace of mind? Why not now to calm your nerve and take advantage and shield your wealth from all the instabilities that are going on in the country for land is always st stable? Why not now when it is just 100 plots? and you can buy it for 5 million. Now when we launch the estate, and you will start selling for 15 million, and then you have to pay more. Why not now that the mayor of housing is for the first time offering you an opportunity to take advantage of what developers take advantage of when we build an estate. So these four questions, I leave you with them. Ponder on them while you decide what to do. I leave the answer to you. But remember, this is not a public sales presentation. It's only for the first 100 plots available. We will begin the real sales when we do the estate master plan and launch. And by then, I'll now call you and say, man, I'm selling lands and I'm giving you opportunity. You're calling your friends, your uncles, your aunties. But right now, it's for you to take advantage because I'm not sure that um, this advert will go around and I'm not sure you'll be able to beat the first 100 if you don't take advantage now. So for those of you that are wondering who is the mayor of housing, I am my ace China. I'm a real estate success strategist and the fastest rising real estate success strategist to come out of Africa. And I love collaboration. I'm the most collaborative businessman in Africa. And I came into real estate four years ago. And in that four years, I've gotten a lot of feet. I've been able to deliver houses through social funding. In fact, I'm dubbed the social funding champion. And because I did some social funding um, achievements in Port Harcourt last year, I was also given the award of the 2020-2022 Housing King of Port Harcourt. I've been able to deliver a 150 million Naira duplex to a client for 5 million Naira using social funding. I've also been able to deliver that same 150 million Naira uh, house to another client for 30 million using what I call the Elite Property Lovers Club sect of social funding. If you want to know what is social funding, click on um, YouTube and just search for the video, what is social funding, and then you'll see that. And this video you can share with all your friends. For achievement, I was, I was at the helm of affairs to help uh, Lifestyle Hub, my partners, to innovate social funding. They started with network marketing in housing. I came in and turned it to social funding. And I've helped two people own a smart home of um, 150 million naira for a, just a one-time total payment of 5 million naira. The record is still going to come when they get full delivery of the house. And I've helped about three persons own this same house for 25 million naira. I helped Lifestyle Hub from 2018 when the company was uh, inaugurated till when it was at zero. Uh, about 5 million naira to over 20 billion naira in assets with over 15 locations across Africa. I'm a marketing consultant to the Lion Business Park, which is the largest free trade zone industrial park in Africa, down there in Enugu. I'm also a marketing consultant for the Centenary City Project, which is the free trade zone residential and commercial city of Abuja, where if you own a property there, you don't ever get to pay tax again. For the rest of your life if you are interested in that you can still hit me in i'm the number one real estate brand in port Harcourt for last year and i'm hoping with your co cooperation and collaboration i can still keep that title for the next 100 million years and i'm the first real estate uh, company 
to launch two estates in Port Harcourt on the same day. The first real estate company to have a rooftop private swimming pool on each unit of our building for every unit. But all that achievement is not possible if I don't have your collaboration. So I need your collaboration to solve the housing deficit in Africa. A lot of people ask me, why are you called the mayor of housing? Because I'm the person that's taking the responsibility of solving the housing problem in Africa. Not alone, but through collaborations with people like you. And you can connect with me on social media on any of these uh, handles. My number is right there on the screen. If you want to turn your 5 million naira to 12 million naira, all you have to do is call the number below. We'll hit you with your offer letter when you give us your name and address. You fill the subscription form, you get a pro forma invoice, you go and pay, and after you pay, you get an official receipt and your deed of conveyance. And you not only own a land in the fastest coming, upcoming district in Port Harcourt, but you get an opportunity to turn that 5 million into 12 million in three short months or six months. Congratulations. And remember, don't share this video with everybody. Let them keep their money, especially those that have a lot of money. Let them keep their money. We are coming with the 50 million naira sales when we launch the estate. Housing for all. I have a slogan, mayor of housing. When I say mayor of housing, you shout housing for all. When I shout housing for all, you say your right to live. Are you ready? Good. Mayor of housing. Housing for all. Housing for all, your right to leave. Okay, now you've seen the presentation. You need to call the person that sent you this video because he will get a commission when you buy. Call him now.